As Australia moves into the age of artificial intelligence, experts agree it's becoming increasingly critical to have transparency and auditability over our software and data supply chains. I think when we rely on software that's come from another jurisdiction, it will become increasingly important to have a software bill of materials where you see the full inventory of what went into that software package or that trained AI or even that data. Agile Digital is an award-winning Australian technology firm of specialist software engineers. They work with a range of government and private sector organisations to build enterprise software products and platforms where the sovereignty of software and data is assured. Because of the emergence of AIs where it becomes critical to understand why the machine is giving us an answer. And to understand that, you need to understand what software is behind the machine or the AI and what data was input to that AI. If we don't understand that software supply chain, we run the risk of taking instruction from our application that has got a corrupted element. I think in recent times, we've seen some pretty bad data breaches in Australia, and we need to transition our view of data to be an incredibly important commodity that we protect. We know where it came from, and we have sovereign regulation over how it's treated. And that does require us to take more ownership of our data as individuals and as a country. And that ownership and understanding of the implications of the software we rely on is going to require a much more broadly ranged skill set within the IT profession. What's interesting about the age we're moving into, the age of AI, is that we need leadership from technologists, but much more than technologists. We need leadership from ethicists, our politicians, philosophers and society. This is not a challenge of computer scientists, it's a challenge of society. So I'm studying politics, philosophy and economics at the Australian National University. Jessica Rogers is one of the new breed of IT professionals bringing progressive skill sets that extend beyond traditional computer science subjects. Cool, I'll sort that out. You guys just keep working on that enhancement. I think there's a growing understanding now that to be a good software developer is much more of a problem solving profession than anything else. And just learning how to code alone isn't going to do that. They're going to need more basis in humanities subjects or just more understanding of the world as a whole to approach these problems. As we move forward into the AI generation, there is a huge problem that everyone faces. It's going to come into government, it's going to come into human rights and the environment because AI takes up a lot of power, as we know. Dr. Vicky Gardner is a prominent computer industry leader who believes that for Australia to be a digital powerhouse, we need a broader and more diverse IT workforce. Technology is not just about the ones and zeros. It's not just about producing something. It's actually looking at how we can impact on community. And for that reason, it's really important that our technology workforce understands the human aspect of what it is that they're doing. So when you start looking at other skills that come in and other backgrounds, it's really nice to have that well-rounded pool of knowledge. What we do as technology workers and professionals can impact on that human element. And at the ANU's College of Engineering, Computing and Cybernetics, Dr. Bernardo Pereira Nunes has introduced an innovative way for his computer science students to solve real world problems. Welcome to the escape room. This is to put our students like in a more uh, cyber feeling so that they see themselves in a different place, not in a classroom, and then they can reuse what they learn in the classroom in a different uh, environment. As an academic, we have to ensure that our students understand not only what is important for the, the development of a software, but like what is around it. Like it's not just because you can build a software that you should. So you need to build the software, but considering the society and the potential harms that it could bring to the society as well. If we don't develop like these digital skills in Australia, then we will have to uh, buy this software elsewhere. And this can become a problem, a security problem for, for Australia. I think as a smaller nation, we punch way above our weight in technology as it is. As the revolution takes hold in AI and machine learning, we do have some bold decisions to make and investments to make in our sovereign capability and our software supply chain. But I'm very positive that this nation is gonna come out a winner in the next age of AI.